How do I know? Stillness means end or is danger just slow? I do not trust you, don't trust myself, but someone was listening when I called for help. Damn, I didn't know you were a criminal mastermind, Miss Caulfield. <laughs> There's a lot you don't know about me. Truly, is nothing easy? How do we get around that? <sighs> I'm not despairing yet. Let me take a look. Oh, yeah. Easy peasy. Sure about this? Positive. <laughs> Wait for it. Go! Talk about descending into the mouth of hell. I think this is the part where we abandon all hope. Hmm. All hope of not contracting tetanus, maybe. <laughs> uh, I had a friend in undergrad who was obsessed with this building. She never broke in, though. She clearly wasn't as crazy as you. <laughs> Urban exploration is kind of my thing. I can't see a busted old place and simply not go into it. What is it about empty spaces? Places like this have been declared useless. I like finding the worth in them. I'm highlighting it. Doesn't useless mean worthless? I don't think so. Hell yeah, let's hit the bar. Not a bad shot. Oh, let me just... Don't! What? I don't usually rearrange the space if I can help it. I want it to look exactly like it would without human interference. Got it. Hands off. Is there anything that I should be doing? I'll have a vodka martini. Any cocktail I make you here will be entirely spiders. Ugh. So what are we looking for exactly? Besides photographing random detritus. 
Most of the shoots I do, I find a focus. Something to hang the rest of the series on. I'll know when I see it. Something lonely. The loneliest thing you can find. <laughs> gotcha, boss. Oof. Try not to breathe too deep. This place looks like it's 90% asbestos. Oof. Hey, partner in grime. What are you smiling about? Nothing. Rewind hasn't worked in years. But still, old habits die hard. Hail Satan. Hmm. Edgy. Ready to pledge yourself to the Prince of Lot? God, I haven't been bowling since I was little. John Whittle's ninth birthday, if I remember. Weird kid. Maybe if I just ignore this, nothing will pop out of it. Something to bring you back to the beginning. Imagine that. Guess these haven't been greased in a minute. Wow. It looks so much cleaner than it did online. Are there photos? Yeah. The old website is still up. I wonder who's paying the hosting fees. Someone who loves kitsch. And dust. Good thing this building isn't on campus. My mom would definitely have had it raised to the ground by now. That would suck. Something doesn't have to be useful to be worth preserving. Well, you know my mom. She can't stand a charity case. If a roof collapses in a bowling alley and no one is around to hear it... Can you still collect the insurance money? The world may never know. Do gumballs have an expiration date? I'll pass. Is this seizing the means of production? I'm glad Sophie's having fun. Hate to bring an unappreciative audience to a trespassing. I told you this place was the portal to hell. Behold, a devil. Aw, it's cute. I think it looks like an off-brand M&M. Yeah? I think it looks like Mr. Peanut on meth. And I hate it. I wonder if there's any way to get it out of here. What, you mean steal it? It's not stealing if it's abandoned. Not sure that would hold up in court. <laughs> well, doesn't even matter. It's way too big to drag out with just the two of us. Relatable. Sometimes I feel like someone is eating my brains with a spoon. Behold, everyone's least favorite...
shoes? Are shoes lonely? Super lonely. Sans feet. Shoes were the subject of the first photo of mine your mom ever saw. Oh my god. <sighs> this year's Caledon University artist in residence sent my mom foot pics? <laughs> Excuse you. Do you really think I'm the kind of girl who would just send foot pics to anyone? It's always the quiet ones, Max. Always. <laughs> it was a shot of a messy closet in a condemned house. Someone left behind all their shoes. Your mom loved it. Hypocritical of her considering she never liked it when my closet was messy, but... Figured out what your focus is gonna be yet? Not yet, but I'll know it when I see it. I could never resist a deal. My money's on one half full Bic lighter to win it all. Oh man, I'm nine years late for my free slice of za. I've never bowled anything above a 180. Way to go, Doug. Oh. Oh, Doug, no. So much for never rearranging a space. Damn. I bet that was stunning when it caught the light. Oh shit. That's it, huh? Hmm? The centerpiece you wanted, right? The loneliest thing in here or whatever. It was made to be beautiful. And now no one ever looks at it. Until today. <laughs> Something like that. Not in love with this angle, though. There. Help me find a way up. You got it, boss. Thanks, I value my ankles. Oh, <laughs> you okay? Damn. <laughs> yeah. I'm fine. That could have been bad. See, this is why you need an assistant. In case you break your ass and need an ass ambulance. <laughs> Go get your shot. Let me figure out how to get you back down. Armed and ready. Let's find that shot. How are your parkour Ain't no skills? Rule that says a carousel horse can't bowl. What? I said, how are your? What? The gnome smoking said... weed really pull the place together. You're fucking with me, aren't you? 
Always wondered what's inside a bowling ball. Turns out it's just more bowling ball. Wonder if the birthday room was any less terrifying back in its heyday. Pretty shitty leaving these around for someone else to find. That's the second biggest monkey DJ I've ever seen. service too? This place is bougie. Please remember to tip your ladder driver. Did you get your shot? And let's get the hell out of this death trap. Come on, I'm starving. This loneliness makes me want a sandwich. Ooh. Beautiful dismount. Check this out. It's perfect. Oh, show me the angle. Oh my god. What? Are you okay? <laughs> oh, I need a drink. Do you need a drink? You read my mind. Uh, turtle? Turtle. My powers might not last. That's okay. We will. Dead? Oh, yeah. I mean, I mean, no. Not dead. Just thinking. Hmm. Cosmopolitan for Max. Vodka shot for Safi. Very on brand in both cases. Perfect. Thanks a ton, Amanda. You look really good today. You think so? I switched shampoos. Oh, not sure about it yet. So, what are you up to later? <laughs> if there's a just and loving God, sleep. Today's been a doozy. Ah. Well. Sweet dreams. You know she was flirting with you, right? What? Amanda, are you actually this oblivious? Oh, guilty. Flirting is like a foreign language to me. You spent all those years on the road meeting new people every day and you still can't tell when someone's into you? I don't know. You don't meet a lot of suitors in abandoned buildings. Is this about the blue-haired girl whose picture you keep in your wallet? Wait, you snooped in my wallet? Stop deflecting. The girl with the blue hair. What's the deal with you two? She's just an old friend from when I was a kid. Must have been some friend if you still keep her picture in your wallet. Don't use your daytime TV shrink voice on me. New subject. No, come on. You never talk about yourself. Would it kill you to open up the teeny tiniest bit? What happened? Was 
she died my senior year. Oh, shit. Nah, hey, it's cool. It was a long time ago. You want to talk about something else? God, yes. Deal. Amanda. Thoughts? I mean, maybe I'm in the minority here, but she's not really my type. She's really cool, though. Max, you're always talking about how you feel rootless. Maybe a new friend would be a good way to set down some roots. Talk to her. About what? What do normal people even talk about? Mostly gas prices. But we're aiming a little bit higher. I mean, go look around. She's responsible for half the decor in this place. Learn what she likes. Yeah. Yeah. Why the hell not, you know? Okay, then. to go be normal. All I have to do is find some things Amanda likes and then talk about them. I can do that. I'm so fucking over him. Like I haven't heard Diamond and Reggie came to a few of my seminars, but I've never seen them hanging out before. How do you do, fellow kids? What brings you two to the turtle tonight? Fearless leader put us on duty. Oh, that's right. Must be exciting, being in a secret society. <laughs> yeah, very exciting. Join the Abraxas Society, where you too can become a prestigious artist. And hang posters for Vin's party. <laughs> You'd think he'd have freshmen for that. So, why do people join Abraxas? It just sounds like a lot of stress. The only thing worse than being in Abraxas is not being in Abraxas. If you want any recognition at all. It didn't used to be this way. It used to be about activism and creating art that matters. Now it's mostly for networking and worshipping Vin Lang, the president. Sounds like a bummer. Well, good luck, you guys. <laughs> I'm not ready for a full-blown conversation yet. Good beer, good ethics. What else could you ask for? Ah, yes. The telltale signs of a 10 coffee all nighter. Amanda recommends misery cult, huh? I can work with that. One day, I'd like to play Go with Moses and Safi. Just have to learn the game first. I thought I was Caledon's resident Polaroid taker. Ah, undergrads. What? There's no way this is meant to be like this. Hell yeah, Diamond. Way to go. The soup future is in my hands. Oh man, I want to 
get on the bad pickup line board. I wonder if anyone here knows any good ones I can borrow. I should be able to break the ice now. Not that having more to talk about or more pickup lines for her chalkboard ever hurts. I admire her commitment to a bit as much as the next girl, but the bit here is just confusing. Gotta love any piece that can make a snowy tree look somehow cozy. Who just does this? Gosh, these are really beautiful. Caledon doesn't have a monopoly on Lakeport's artistic genius, I guess. Gotta love any piece that can Should I feel bad that I kinda liked it better upside down? Safi says the bands that play here are small, but have heart. I'm not sure if that's a compliment. Busy night? Ugh. Julie called off, so I haven't gotten a single break all shift. My bladder's about to explode. Go, pee. You can talk to me later. It's a fabulous idea. Don't go anywhere. That's the third glass this week, Reggie. I got this. Bathroom. Now, you are a literal angel. I owe you. Out of the way, freshman. Reggie's lucky I'm not going to make him sweep up the glass. I've never been able to say no to a good lagoon. Come here, my sharp little friends. Moonlighting, huh? Hey, photography's a tough industry. Next time, remember, the class goes on the table. Oh, my bladder thanks you. Tell your bladder it's my pleasure. So hey, you were gonna say something before all that. So, you're a... Uh... Misery cult fan? For sure. <laughs> so cool that you know them. No, sorry. I actually had never heard of them until I read your rec on the whiteboard. Oh, right. You're not a Lakeport local, duh. <laughs> so, educate me. I want to know. Misery cult were the first band out of Lakeport to make it big. They kind of founded the Lakeport music scene. What does make it big mean in this context? I mean, they got college radio airplay as far away as New Hampshire. So yeah, <laughs> pretty big. I gotta know what the deal is with the pickup lines. My buddy Henry and I were co-headlining a comedy night. Holy shit, you do comedy? And this is the first I'm hearing about it? Sorry, sorry. Listening quietly, please proceed. So the whole drive up, he's telling me the grossest pickup lines he can think of, trying to get me to squirm. Dumb, bro shit. Anyway, it turned into a competition, which I won. Nobody knows grosser pickup lines than a small town lesbian. And the competition turned into the chalkboard? So, give it a shot. What's the best pickup line you've got? Hey, baby. I seem to have lost my number. Can I borrow yours? I like your enthusiasm. <laughs> it's 
So, I was thinking... That we should totally do something in Linkport sometime? You could show off the local music scene. Oh, hell yeah. There's this band, Revenge Horse, that I've been meaning to check out. Based on that name alone, I'm 100% in. So, um... Ugh. Uh, I like to make sure that boundaries get set early. Uh, so, zero pressure, either way. But... Is this a date thing, or is this a friend thing? I was thinking more of a friend thing. Cool. That's why I asked. Friend thing it is. Look at you, Max, doing normal people shit like some kind of healthy, productive member of society. How do you feel? I have no idea. The last ten minutes are a total blur. But Amanda's really cool. Ooh. How's this? Hey. <laughs> oh, how was the shoot? We almost died. We didn't almost die. Yeah, because I saved us. I deserve a medal. <laughs> <laughs> so what are we doing? The night's young. We should hang out. Just the three of us? There's a meteor shower tonight. I'm conducting research, but it could be fun with other people. You should come, both of you. That's perfect. All we need is, hold on. <laughs> She's a mile a minute tonight. She gets this way when she's in a good mood. Courtesy of Madame President, Mommy Dearest. At least until she remembers that I have her credit card. <laughs> Shall we? Give me the Cliff Notes version of what we're actually here to see. A bunch of little pieces of a shattered asteroid. From 11 million miles away. This is what I give for introducing you to. Wow. So should we be worried about this crazy asteroid hitting Earth? <laughs> Not in our lifetime. And it'll probably disintegrate before it reaches the surface. All right, Max. You have 24 hours before the world ends. What would you do? Oh, I'm documenting that shit. Can you imagine how cool an apocalypse photo set would be? Oh my god, this again? Nobody would see it. I'm telling you, art requires an audience. Otherwise, it's just... Okay, jeez. Agree to disagree. Awful quiet over there, Murph. Don't want to weigh in? Oh, uh, I wasn't listening. But, hey, looks like the equipment's working. Eek, why am I not at home wrapped up in a blanket burrito right now? Because, despite your attempts to convince us otherwise, you're a really sweet person. And you wanted to spend time with us. Aww. Oh, I brought cups. Figured that was better than passing the bottle around. This is the best you could do? I don't work in this building. Don't blame me for the astronomy department's bad taste. Mine says I'm the world's horniest grandma. Grab a mug, Max. You know me, I love my potty humor. I have some good news. Uh, it's big, but I can't tell you what it is. You can't tell us you have good news and then- I don't want to say anything else until everything is finalized. Mysterious. 
Well, whatever we're celebrating, I think it calls for a selfie. Oh, let me, I just got this camera and I want to get some good use out of it. What should we say? Damn, I think I have hypothermia. Moses has hypothermia. I've got incoming. I'm gonna, you know, um, do my thing. <laughs> Good news, huh? You two and your secrets. How you ever hold a conversation with each other is beyond me. I'm dying to know what Sophie's good news is. Maybe I can somehow convince her to spill. Moses always looks so passionate about his work, even when he's just crunching numbers. Hey, Moses, casually lean on the telescope. I might knock it over. Pretend. Moses, doesn't some small part of you want to know what Sophie's good news is? All right. I think I have an idea. But once we go down this road, we can't turn back. Um, okay. Give this to Sophie, if you can. You'll probably have to trick her into taking it or plant it on her. Like a prank? No. This has rules. So it's more of a game. Whoever holds the bottle cap has to do whatever you say. Well, within reason. Moses, I have literally never wanted to play a game more in my entire life. You say that now. But Safi has a very loose definition of within reason. And she'll come for you next. <laughs> okay. Wish me luck. Don't do anything I wouldn't do. Oh, you mean like talking to someone who has an obvious crush on me? First of all, how dare you? Second of all, yes, exactly. Okay, how am I going to plant this on Safi? Let's lock and load. 
Now I've just got to deliver this to Safi. <laughs> Fuck! Should have seen that coming. <laughs> the hell, Max? Damn, I had plans for that bottle cap too. Bullshit! How did you see me? Get good, noob. <laughs> You're the worst. Not at hiding bottle caps, I'm not. Your title is secure. <laughs> oh. Oh, shit. Hello? This is Safi? Yes, this is Safiya Llewellyn Fayyad. Speaking. Be right back. So, uh, would you really take pictures of the end of the world? Yeah. Think about it. I take photos of empty buildings. An empty planet? <laughs> That's next level. Okay. But it's like Safi said. Nobody is ever going to see them. That's not necessarily true. Maybe aliens find my camera two billion years later. Or irradiated mutants worship your camera like a god. Exactly. Now you get it. You never know who's going to be left standing when the dust settles. Look at that. What a tale. Moses was right. This is awesome. <gasps> Are you okay? Yeah. All good. Just dizzy. Maybe the champagne. Think I'm gonna take off? Get some rest. I can give you a ride if you wait a few minutes. No, that's okay. I think a walk will clear my head. I think so. Moses invited me out tonight. I can't recall exactly how you came into my life at all. It seems you always. Caledon's a beautiful campus, but it's even better when it snows. Just waiting to suddenly appear. Everything I know Call the end And promise this is what you want What if I'm dreaming And please don't wake me up It makes no difference. 
touch everything I know. Call the end, I promise this is what you want. Perfect night for walking home. I'll just catch up with Sophie tomorrow. Amanda is a key. I should check on her anyway. Better safe than sorry. Shit! Sophie, hang on! Oh, Sophie's fine. For a moment, I thought... You okay?
Don't say that! I won't trade you! No matter what you choose, I know you'll make the right decision. Max, it's time. Welcome to the wall, Safi. Shit. Fuck. all over my neck. You have powers. You can rewind time, Max. That's fucking insane. No, Chloe. What's fucking insane is that being able to rewind time has only caused me more problems and more heartbreak. If high school Max could see the places I've seen, the people I've met. Fuck. She went through all of that alone. I wish I'd been there. Shit! Oh. My place is a mess! Shit, shit, shit! I'm a mess. Can't let Amanda see the mess downstairs. Better change out of my pajamas, too. Now to take care of downstairs. Amanda might be down to watch a decapitated head in a bucket wreak havoc, but probably shouldn't assume. I don't think Amanda needs to see a two-ply monument to my sadness today. Looks like one of the previous artists in residence was also a fan of Neb. Or a Neb hater like Safi. The Lakeport cop investigating Safi's death. Safi's murder. She kept Moses and I for questioning for 
hours and hours. I saw a very suspicious owl. Does that help, officer? Safi. I swear I'll clean that one pan eventually. Amanda will understand. Shutterbud 420's YouTube tutorial made fixing you seem so much easier. Every time I give a workshop, some student still feels it's not real photography if it's digital. The original award got damaged in one of my moves, but this article reminds me that winning wasn't a dream. No sign of Amanda yet. I've still got time. Pupil and Iris. This baby got me an International Photography Award and a spread in National Geographic. Safi. Safi got me the frame. One of the past Hellerton artists made this. Woodwork seems so unforgiving. You have to live with your mistakes. Moses loves this. I promised I'd watch, but it's been four months and I don't have the heart to tell him I probably won't. The premier journal for the discerning Gorehound. As soon as I had a semi-permanent address, I renewed my subscription. Legend has it, Samson here is older than Hellerton itself. Been more than a few days since I used this. I'm not exactly in a picture-taking frame of mind. Can you still be welcome in a place you have no desire to go back to? Good to know Vanessa and Ryan still have my back. No matter what. Sometimes, when I close my eyes, I still see her lying on that bathroom floor. Not really up for dragging Amanda down traumatic memory lane. Best to get this out of sight. Oh, better clean those up too. How sad is it that this goofy ass thing reminds me of Sophie? I can't begin to imagine how hard this was for her to write, let alone to keep that professional tone all the way through. Yasmin has been nothing but supportive throughout my time here, and I owe it to her to make time should she need it. This site was mostly bullshit platitudes that were hard to take seriously. Thought about baking these, but that would have required a trip to the store, and that would have required me to leave the house. Moses left us here weeks ago. He and Safi were having some debate about astronomy versus astrology. I wish I could remember what Safi said, but I... I've already forgotten.
After the last couple of days, I had to reread Yasmin's letter to remind myself what I'm even doing here. When imposter syndrome rears its head, I like to remind it that I won a fucking international photography award. No sign of Amanda yet. I've still got time. Mmm. Grief dinner. It's chunky though, so it feels like more of a substantial meal. If only a strong cup of coffee, or five, could speed me through what I'm feeling right now. Thank you, hot sauce. You're the only pick-me-up I've had the last day and change. Album probably makes more sense, but don't hate waking up to these every morning. The bassist from the agnostic femmes named Faith, a punk band out of Oakland. She was enthusiastic. If I could undo your death, Sophie, I'd do it without a second thought. All those people lived. You died because of me. It's never fair, is it? I miss you so fucking much, Chloe. Her name was Chloe. I thought that was a sign. It wasn't. doesn't get more batshit than twist the knife counterclockwise. And for Giallo, that's really saying something. I honestly hope they'd help me understand Sophie better. But now, what's the point? The high point of the series. Maybe any series. You can debate me, but you'd be wrong. When imposter syndrome rears its head, I like to remind it that I won a fucking international photography award. Pupil and Iris. This baby got me an international photography award and a spread in National Geographic. Better get these tidied up too before Amanda gets here. Amanda's at the door. I hope she isn't mad that I ignored her calls. Hey, Amanda. Welcome to hell. <laughs> oh, honey. We're doing dramatic goth kid grief. Go big or go home, I always say. <laughs> She's really gone, Amanda. Sophie was here two days ago. And now... I know, Max. I know. Why would anybody want to... I mean, she was just... God, how embarrassing. I'm falling apart right in front of you. Sorry for it. Don't you dare. 
You are hereby ordered to be nice to yourself. I'll begrudgingly admit it is nice to see a friendly face. A friendly face. With food. Homegrown salad and homemade focaccia. Damn. Okay, then. I would have been happy with old Halloween candy and a (laughs) Pop-Tart. Full disclosure, I don't exactly have the biggest of appetites right now. Really? Eating always makes me feel better. Never encountered a mood that couldn't be improved by demolishing an entire pizza solo. You just wait till I'm feeling better. I could eat you under the table. (laughs) Wowzers. What? It's a common turn of phrase. You're the one making it dirty. I I plead innocent. Oh, so you're just going to tweet through it then? (laughs) I won't be speaking further without my lawyer present. You need to eat, Max. The stuff that makes you feel close to normal again is usually what you need the most. Whoa. I haven't seen one of these since I was like 10. I would have figured instant cameras were a professional photography no-no. I like them. Always have. So, I don't know, tactile. Looking through the viewfinder, holding the photo in your hands, it feels more real. Another way to make you feel normal again? Taking a picture of your friend Amanda. I'm really not up for it, Amanda. Come on. I've never had my picture taken by anybody famous before. (laughs) You have an extremely loose definition of famous. Isn't that why you're here? Bringing prestige to humble Caledon. Sure. (laughs) Something like that. That's what I'm talking about. I can't believe she's making me do this. How should I pose for Caledon's illustrious artist in residence? Show me your goofy side. (laughs) Nice. How about another one? Different pose this time. Okay. Why not? (laughs) Oh. Oh, shit. Sorry. It's Sophie's mom. Um, just... Just a sec, okay? Hi, Yasmin. Hi. Hi, Maxine. I'm incredibly sorry for your loss. Uh, Thank you. I appreciate that. Have you ever dealt with loss like this? Sadly, I have. It doesn't get easier, but it can hurt less with time. A bitter balm. I wanted to talk to you face to face, uh, if possible. Doing this over the phone feels so... Of course. Um, I can come by today. I'll be in my office all day. Just let Vin know when you arrive. Everything okay? 
I'm not sure. I need to head to campus to meet with her. I can't thank you enough for coming by, Amanda. Psh, it's what you do. This is the one thing that brightened your mood today. Aside from me. <laughs> Come on. I'll walk with you. Yasmin's office is in the old administration building. Well, time to see if these jokers burn down the turtle in my absence. Will I see you later? You know where to find me. Better head to the admin building. Yasmin's expecting me. <laughs> 